Um, I'd like to say a few words about Lowell's again. Um, with Coochie Willow Coochie Lap Pond Little River Systems, that's what we try to conserve. And you probably recognize all those names, people in Atlanta won't. But uh, the big project, as you know, we're working on is the Alapaha River Water Trail. And that runs through many of the same counties you've just been talking about. Uh, in particular, it doesn't quite start in Tift, but there's a lot of people in Tifton that are very interested in it. Goes through Atkinson, Barry, and Lanier, Eccles, Lowndes, of course, and Hamilton County, Florida. In fact, it parallels I 75, speaking of I 75 corridor, it's never more than half an hour east of I 75, and the Alapaha River, as you know, then crosses I 75 in Florida. Um, so, oh, and um, we're, we're getting some interesting messages of support. We got a chamber. Uh, a letter from uh, Myrna Ballard, the president of the Dallas Miles County uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'll send you a copy of it. It uh, basically says the chamber has long been trying to support having employment for local graduates so they don't have to go somewhere else. And a factor in that is local quality of life, which this water trail would help improve. So it's, it's a letter in support from the chamber. Speaking of Hamilton County, Florida, we also got uh, from their tourism council a check for $250. Now, you know, I know these are tiny sums by what you guys deal with, but um, uh, that's 50% uh, more. You know, the, the original grant from Georgia River Network we got in June was $500, so $250 is significant. Okay, and we also got a check from the Valdosta Lowndes County Tourism Authority for $500. So we've already increased the original grant by 150%. And uh, then we got from the Hamilton County Tourism Council a uh, resolution of support. So uh, these things are taking time. We're talking to all the local county and city governments and the counties that I just mentioned, plus other organizations such as the chamber, obviously. And the, the reaction is generally positive. It just takes them a while to work through their process and decide if they're going to do something. Um, okay, and um, while this is, you know, I, I'm certainly not going to say it's going to bring in, uh, you know, 175 new jobs like Express Scripts, I would not expect that. But I would expect that over time it will have a positive economic benefit because people will come from pretty far away to boat on the Alapaha River. We had a group come in from Brunswick just the other week, and they'll all be shopping locally and staying in local hotels and buying things and using the local outfitters. So it's a positive economic benefit. Um, and compared to, uh, for example, the uh, allow me to use the word infamous, proposed Sable Trail pipeline. Uh, I actually had this discussion with someone from FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission that is supposed to do the federal permit for that if they approve it. Uh, this water trail will probably bring in uh, more positive economic benefit to South Georgia than that pipeline ever will. In fact, of course, the pipeline will probably be a negative benefit because who wants a business next to a pipeline? Anyway, uh, Never mind the pipeline. The, the water trail, you know, Walls thinks is a good project. Obviously, several other organizations that I mentioned think it's a good project. And once again, I would uh, like to ask you to consider a resolution of support. Costs you nothing, commits you to nothing. Basically says, we think it's a good idea. Thank oh. you, Mr. Borderman. Oh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, if you like boats, the Okie Finoki, this Saturday, 10 a.m. at the uh, Stephen Foster State Park, the Fargo entrance. Thank you. Thank you.